That was a good day. One of, one of our good days. See? Uh, it seems that Sissy, Pat, and Jack were the first ones to set Twin Peaks on fire. Sort of a family tradition, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, my father worked at 24 Engine on Hoffman Avenue, and the call goes in, and he was pretty sure he knew who was behind it. So he goes and helps put out the fire. So well, I guess about five, six years. The other three are growing up a little bit, see. So we didn't know about Sissy and Pat and Jack, what they did, but Mike thought it would be a good idea to bring along some matches and just see what it was like to burn a little bit of the grass. It was in the summer and everything was nice and dry. <laughs> Fire departments loved that. So anyway, the ringleader, he lights the fire and pretty soon it gets out of hand. <laughs> we run like anything down the hill and <laughs> jump under the bed and hide. <laughs> we knew we were going to be in for it. <laughs> and call goes to uh, 24 engine and the old man's working there again and he said the little bastards are at it again. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he had a sixth sense about it. <clears throat> Just like when we moved out to uh, Mount Vernon one time, Mike thought it would be a good idea to break the glass on the fire alarms that they used to have them on telephone poles all through the city, you know. I remember, you, yeah. you break the glass and pull a little switch. He thought it'd be fun to do this. <laughs> so he did it. <laughs> the old man, back, back to 24 engine. <laughs> He says they're at it again. <laughs> but at least we didn't set anything on fire and there's no harm done and it was fun to watch the fire engines come. We just stood back and watched, <laughs> enjoyed the excitement and all mm -hmm. that stuff.